to connect your Namecheap domain to your hosting or web hosting. First, head over to Namecheap.com and sign up to the account where I've got the domain active. Or if you want to buy a new domain, I've got the link in the description. If you go through that link and pay for any of these domains, I may get a small commission. So over here in Namecheap, I've got this domain. I will click on manage on the right hand side and then it's going to take us to this page. Click on advanced settings on the right hand side and under it below DNS templates, we got host records. We need to change inside this. So now go over to Hostinger and log into your account. I've also got the link to Hostinger in the description if you want to get a new plan on this website. You can get through that link and uh, over here on the left hand side you can go to websites and websites list or you can also click on manage on the right hand side now if i click on websites list i will see this over here if you are adding a website for the first time add the website and make sure to use temporary domain when you are adding it now i've got this website here and on the right hand side i will see these three dots click on it and then you will see connect domain you can either click here or go to your dashboard inside it and then click on domain over here. They also prompt us to change your domain. When you get a hosting plan on Hostinger, you also get a free domain. So this, this is the free domain that I've got. This is pending email verification, but if you want, you can just connect this over here and then you can click on next. But we are doing a Namecheap domain to Hostinger. So I'm going to enter in my Namecheap domain, which is this. Just copy this from here and paste it. So control C and control V over here. And then click on this, the first one. Do you own this domain? Use it? Yes. Now click on next. Now it will say the domain is added to your site. Let's click on continue. Now let's go over to the left hand side and click on domain portfolio. Inside here, we will see external domains. And this is our domain here. And let's click on edit DNS. And it says that your domain is not connected to Hostinger. So we're going to click on this connect domain here. And now it's going to say, let's connect to your domain. Let's connect your domain to your website. So it's going to say, log into your Namecheap account and then find domain DNS record management zone and type these two server records there. You can either do it with the advanced method, which is in the host records, you need to enter in the A record and C name record but this is for Shopify, you can also connect it to Hostinger. And it's saying that you need to enter in the name server records. So what we are going to do is copy this from here, go back to our name Jeep account and go to domains. And inside this, if you scroll down, you'll see name servers, click on this drop down, and then choose custom DNS. And I was going to give you this uh, fields, the name server one and name server two. We're going to copy this, click, in, click on this button and then paste it over here. For the second one, click on the second one and paste it here as well. And you can click on the check mark to save it. Now it's going to say that it will take up to 48 hours to take effect. This is for the propagation of your domain. Now, if I go back to Hostinger, I will click on this to check it. And it says, I have changed the name server records. We're going to click on finish. And it will say, if you change your DNS records, your name, your domain will be connected soon. It takes up to 24 hours. And let's click on close. Now, one thing I want to say is that this method was, if you want to use your DNS management inside Hostinger. So once you have connected it this way, you're only going to pay Namecheap for the domain, but to use this advanced DNS, this whole part will be managed by Hostinger. But if you want to do it another way, they've got this method here, which is the A record method. We're going to click this. And now it's going to say that you need to type in these two records. So this is the A records. We are going to go back to Namecheap and I will show you how this works. So I'm just going to click on custom DNS change it back to name sheet basic DNS and click on save here. Now on the top, go to advanced DNS. On here, we've got the A record and we will copy this from here, the points to copy this and paste it. Now this is the second A record. We will just 
click on this drop down, make it a record. You can also click on this add new record and click on a record here in the type. Now in the host section, we're going to type in www and for the points too, we're going to copy this from here and paste it. And you can click on this. I have changed the A records here. And now inside here, click on this check mark button. It saves save changes or save changes. And you can also click on this save all changes on here. And now it's going to save the changes here. And then go back to hostinger. Click on this check mark. It says I've changed the A records and click on finish. Now it says that if you have changed your DNS records, your domain will be connected soon. It says the same thing like we did the last time and just click on close here. And if you go back to main menu, go to websites in the websites list, let's go to WordPress admin page. I made a tutorial on how to connect Namecheap to Shopify. And that's why this currently has, uh, that's why it's currently connected to Shopify. And because you have changed it over here, it will take a little bit of time in order, to, in order to connect with our hosting or web hosting. You just need to wait for 24 hours or 48 hours to connect it properly. If I open an incognito tab on my browser and I search for this URL, our website is now connected to hosting or web hosting, but this is not visible on this because, because probably because of cache and I need to clear the cache, but over here in the incognito, this is done. And in the dashboard of this website, you, you can see that the SSL is installed on this domain and the domain is active. And that's it. This is how to connect your Namecheap domain to Hostinger web hosting. Did this video help solve your problem? Let me know with a like and comment.